Ollie, if I'd spoken to you or if I'd said to you after Worcester were suspended for the Premiership that you'd be sat here now, what would you have said? How are you feeling? Um, yeah, now it's pretty special. Um, obviously, something I've always wanted to be a part of is the squad and especially going to a World Cup. Um, I think that the main thing for me really is that it's been a, it's been a tough old couple of months. Like We've trained hard, uh, personally for me. It's been difficult because I've been out injured. Um, so I'm just looking forward to the next few weeks, just getting stuck back in with the squad, pushing forward over these um, over these next games. But the big focus, obviously, this weekend um, uh, against Wales. Do you sense a, a big opportunity for you? What do you hope to bring in terms of a point of difference? Um, I think it's an opportunity for all of us. Um, personally, for me, I just want to put my best foot forward. Um, starts with training today, um, like Owen just said this afternoon. Um, and yeah, it's an opportunity for us to do do something do something special. Um, and we're all in it together. So um, yeah, it should be good. Hi there, if I could just put one to Ben. Um, there was a, a lot of talk about the back row options available for England and Steve's talked a lot about flexibility. Tell us about your conversation with him you had on Sunday morning. Uh, it was early, it was about nine o'clock in the morning so I just got up, um, had a bit of a sleepless night so um, yeah, I wasn't really sure. Um, but no, yeah, uh, the, the conversation I had with him was, was really encouraging in terms of what he wanted out of me. Um, the thing Steve's done since he's come in is he's really like encouraged us to be the player that we are, not try and fit into another mould or try and be something different. Um, he wants to see our strengths. He wants to see <clears throat> how we can put our best foot forward, as Ollie's touched upon, and uh, the training that we've been able to do over the last couple of weeks in terms of the boys coming back from the final and stuff. We've been able to do that, so it's been brilliant. How important do you think it has been for you that you can move around that back row? I think I don't think there's one player that can't in our in our back row. So um, yeah, I mean, like say flexibility in tournament rugby always helps. Um, this would be one of the first tournaments I've been involved in in terms of that intensity. So yeah, I, I mean it, it it must help. But like I said, I think everyone can do that, um, and we're all slightly different in our own way, which is which is I think is really nice. We've got a nice balance to that that makeup, and um, yeah, looking forward to seeing how how we grow as a, as a unit and as a team. And just on that sleepless night, who did you contact first when you found out? My mum. My mum, yeah, she was, uh, she was buzzing and, uh, yeah, no, she was, she was so happy over the moon and I think she was straight onto, onto whatever BA and, and onto the booking some flights, so, um, so yeah. There's going to be a big, there's going to be a big Earl contingent out in France. Yeah, I think so. Well, yeah, I hope so. I think I'll be a good England contingent, um, by all accounts and, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to get out there and, and you know experience, like I said, my first kind of competition rugby. And Jack, if I just throw one to you, uh, Steve's been very clear that it was going to be three scrum halves. So was there much of a surprise when you had your chat on Sunday morning? Um, I think you always have that doubt that he might change his mind or things might change. So um, yeah, to be it, to have it confirmed on Sunday was obviously a really nice feeling, but. Um, it's been it's been brilliant working with a th as a th as a three and uh, we're working hard to push each other each week and um, add to our games and and challenge each other as much as we can. So um, no, it's been it's been really good. Thank you. And just lastly from me, who did you tell first that you were in? I FaceTimed my family. They were in the car, um, and so, yeah, so I FaceTimed my mum who was who wasn't driving, um, <laughs> and yeah, they were all mum, dad, and sister all in the car. So uh, no, it was uh, very special. Um, mum cried a lot, which was. Yeah, a bit hard to deal with, but um, it was all right. No, it was, um, it was really nice, really special. Where were they going? They were going back from Oxford. My sister had just moved her stuff into a new uni house, so um, they were driving back from uh, Oxford Brooks, yeah. Very nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Uh, morning, everybody. Afternoon. Uh, congratulations to all of you. Um, Ollie, uh, you're the only one who's not told us um, about your knock-on-the-door story. So um, how did you find out? Who did you call? How did you feel? Um, yeah, I had a chat with Steve on Sunday morning. Um, told me, yeah, that I was in the squad. Kind of just explained what he wanted for me going forward. Um, came out there, called my missus, called my family. Um, and yeah, that was pretty it. It was pretty um, surreal, special moment. Um, but quickly kind of realised back into camp the next day. So kind of had to switch off a bit and then kind of focus on regathering for this week. You seem to be handling it very coolly. You're, you're heading to a World Cup with England. Yeah, no, I mean, it is, it is special, um, don't get me wrong, um, but I think my main focus is, is getting on the plane to start with, um, and that starts with, with playing well this week and 
and building into these games um, and getting that form that we need um, to go to a World Cup with and then I'm sure as it develops um, and as we go through the tournament, um, hopefully yeah, it'll be um, pretty good. I accept you're not going to give away game plans, but give us an indication of the kind of conversation you had with Steve when he talks about what he wants from you. Um, the main thing for me is I think Steve just wants me to be myself. Like He knows personally what my strengths are. Um, and he wants me to be the best at them. Obviously, there's areas in my game that I can I can work on, and I'm constantly trying to work on the week in, week out. Um, but the main thing, a bit like what Ben said earlier, is he wants us to, to show our strengths um, and really and really uh, set a precedent with those within the training and then within our games.